So you've got big plans to go out and achieve great things. Maybe become an entrepreneur, a YouTube star, a coach or public speaker. Maybe you want to follow your dream of working in a sought after industry where image plays a big part, like fashion, music or film. You know deep down you've got what it takes. It's just a different, more challenging world than the one you're used to. And you need that confidence boost, that push to take a leap of faith into the unknown. There is a solution to your problem. To put it simply, you gotta fake it till you make it. Now this isn't about performing brain surgery or flying a plane when you have no idea how to do those things. Maybe you saw Leonardo DiCaprio doing those in the movie Catch Me If You Can. Yep, fun movie, but not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about is ramping up your confidence outside of your comfort zone, learning what you need to and becoming the best, most confident version of yourself, a version of you that's better equipped to make your goals and dreams happen. Welcome to Alux.com. The place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. So Aluxers, are you up for the challenge? Let's get to it and find out how. Number 1. Understand that you can become the version of you you need to be. Aluxers, we promise we are not getting all flower power on you with this one. It's an observable fact that everything and everybody is constantly changing and becoming something or someone new. That includes our personalities, our abilities, our confidence levels, the way others see us and the way we see ourselves. Think about those before they were famous photos we've all seen of celebrities, when they were awkward, socially inept teenagers, and look at the uber confident, successful people they are now. They figured out how to become their best versions of themselves, and any of us can do the same. Maybe the idea of speaking to a room full of investors, doing a TED talk, being a business leader or on the podium. Even though it's something you really want, right now it's hard for you to realistically picture yourself there. Remember that nobody is born confident, a natural in front of an audience, an expert in their field, a great entertainer, negotiator or whatever. They all developed the necessary qualities to become these things, and you can too. Number 2. Define an image of the you you want to become. Anytime we want to achieve something, we have to set ourselves clear goals. And this is no different. Whatever attributes you need to acquire, picture a version of yourself. Not just with those qualities, but oozing them. Is your ideal version of you someone who's got amazing communication skills or who can inspire people whenever words come out of their mouth? Is it an expert in something? Is it somebody who's in incredibly good shape or more attractive than you think you are now? Define the version of you you want to become. Have a picture of them in your mind. Now we're not saying this is going to make you become that person, but it's a start because now you know what to aim for. Number three. Find role models, study and mimic them. Great, now that you've got the image of what you're aiming for, you're going to want to look to others for inspiration too. Observe people who have the qualities you want, whether it's someone you know or someone famous. Observe them. Think about the way they carry themselves and how it adds to their success and mimic those things. If it's someone who has amazing communication skills, see how they construct arguments, explain or persuade. Study elegant turns of phrase they use and start slipping in those into conversations as well. In fact, studying and mimicking is what actors do when they're preparing for a role. It lets them convince the audience they are the person they're pretending to be. And you can do the same thing to persuade people you're sophisticated, persuasive, eloquent, and self-assured. Except you're not so much pretending, you're becoming that person. Number 4. Dress the part Maybe you've heard the saying, dress for the job you want, not the job you have. The way you dress alters the way other people perceive you and make them take you more seriously. So start dressing for the version of you you're aiming for. And it can even be the way you perceive yourself. Wear something that gives off serious success vibes and the chances are you'll start acting that way. If you can't afford that Armani suit that will make you feel like a million bucks, don't worry, we've got you covered. Check out our video on 15 ways to look expensive without spending a fortune for some tips. Number 5. Work on your body language too. 
This one's similar to dressing for who you want to be. The great thing is, it's not going to cost you a penny. Just like dressing for success, there's a lot of research on how the right body language builds confidence and makes others see you in a different light. Check out Amy Cuddy's TED Talk on it. She talks about how making yourself small or hunching over makes you feel weak, and how opening yourself up, rolling your shoulders back and leaning in and just looking confident really makes you feel and act that way. Do remember though, you don't want to overdo it, it'll just come across as ridiculous and arrogant, which you don't want. Other small things you can do are smile more, talk in a calm, composed voice, take deep breaths and relax. They all help you feel and appear more self-assured. And another thing that we're big fans of at Alux is meditation. As well as helping with the things we've just mentioned, it can even help you find solutions to all kinds of problems you're facing. If you're new to meditation, why not try our 21-day challenge, the Mind Mastery Premium Experience. It's available for purchase at alux.com slash meditation. Now we know $250 may be a lot for some of you, but a single idea from the course could grow into millions. If you get to the end of it and still think you didn't get your money's worth, we'll give you a full refund under our 60-day guarantee. That's how much we believe in it. Number 6. Remind yourself of what you're already good at. Everybody's got things they're good at, and whatever goals you're aiming for, it ought to be something that draws on talents or abilities you've already demonstrated. Let's say you want to be a lawyer. You're not so good at speaking or persuading people, but at least you're good at logical thinking. Well, the good news is you've got at least a base to build on. You've got the clear reasoning in place, you just need to build up on the communication part. Or you want to be a YouTuber. You've got loads of great ideas to communicate to an audience, but you feel awkward appearing on screen. The same is true, you've got a starting point. Remind yourself of what you're good at. That's your foundation. And whenever you're not feeling confident, think about what you know you're capable of and use that to talk yourself up. Number 7. Start doing stuff that's outside of your comfort zone. So you've worked on your confidence and your inner game, now's the time to start acting. Like Richard Branson put it, if someone offers you an amazing opportunity but you're not sure you can do it, say yes, then learn how to do it later. Have that spirit of jumping into things even when you're not totally prepared. That means stop thinking about starting that YouTube channel and actually start it. Stop dreaming about those jobs that are a little out of reach and start applying for them and see what happens. Start pitching those business ideas you've dreamed up. Put yourself out there. Sure, you'll trip up in places and even fall flat on your face, but it doesn't matter. If you don't take action, opportunities will never come your way. And you can have a million great ideas, but with no action, they'll never come to fruition. So take action now. Break out of your comfort zone and what you don't know, you can learn along the way. Number 8. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Yep, if you're outside your comfort zone, you can be sure mistakes are going to happen, so don't beat yourself up about them. Learn from them and know how to pick yourself back up again. Also, very important, mistakes are fine, but try to avoid the ones that are going to cost you or have serious consequences. When you're an aspiring entrepreneur, you can make a fool of yourself in front of an investor. You'll laugh about it one day, but investing thousands in a business idea and losing it all because you had no idea what you were doing? Yep, that's one you could've, should've avoided. That's also why you can fake it till you make it as a YouTuber, an online marketer, or an entrepreneur. But as a brain surgeon or a pilot, well, not such a good idea. Number 9. Don't forget to learn what you need to. Remember that Richard Branson quote about saying yes when someone gives you a great opportunity? Let's not forget the second part. Learn to do it later. So make sure you do exactly that. Whatever the knowledge you're lacking, learn it. Learn it fast and then go above and beyond and keep on learning until you know more than anyone else. Remember, the idea is to fake it till you make it, not to keep faking it forever. So learn what you need to. Be an information sponge. Read books. Take courses. And number 10. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Whatever it is you want to fake until you're good at it, any help you can get is going to give you a huge boost to your chances of getting there. 
Maybe somebody's asked you to write blog posts for them and you've never done it before. You might not want to tell that person you're feeling out of your depth, but do find someone you can confide in, who knows more than you do, who can point you in the right direction and help to get you on track. That's also why entrepreneurs who are on their way to success usually get a mentor. They're learning as they go along at breakneck speed, and that mentor, who knows their way around the business world better than they do, is going to give them much better chances of success. Number 11. If it doesn't feel right, stop and try something else. If it feels wrong, or if it feels like you're faking it so much it just doesn't feel like you anymore, then stop and rethink. A big part of faking it till you make it is building up confidence. So if you just feel out of place doing something, that's not going to help you build any confidence. It's probably going to destroy it. So take a few steps back, remind yourself one more time what you're good at, and think of how else you can use those talents. Remember we talked about that YouTuber who has loads of great ideas but hates the camera? If they still feel like that after a few weeks, think of another way you can apply your talents. In this case, faking it in front of a camera didn't work. It won't work all the time. Don't worry, adapt. And in this case, maybe try a blog instead. Number 12. Get feedback and find out what you need to improve. Outside opinions are going to point you on the way to success. If you're learning to become an entrepreneur, listen to everything customers say. If it's that YouTube channel or blog, how are viewers reading or reacting? What do the analytics tell you? What do people say in the comments? Get as much feedback as you can. Work out what you're doing right and keep on doing it. And at the same time, see what you still need to develop or change. Then do that. Number 13. Collect proof of your success. Every time you hit a goal, take note of it. Give yourself a big pat on the back, celebrate, and keep it on your running tally of wins. Every time you post a video that gets a huge number of views, any month you get a huge number of orders, any time somebody invests in your business, any time a client recommends you and sends new business your way. By now, you're already somewhere on the journey from faking it to making it, but you need to be able to remind yourself of your success. It's going to be important whenever you hit a roadblock, whenever something goes wrong, your confidence is down, and you start to ask yourself, am I really any good at this? or should I be doing this at all? That's the time to pull out that tally of successes. If you've got those to show, you can answer those questions with big yeses. They'll help you pull yourself back up and keep you on track. Number 14. Big yourself up in nerve-wracking situations. On the path between faking it till we make it, we're all going to find ourselves in nerve-wracking situations, pitching to that influential investor or client, or just meeting somebody who's famous and successful and you feel in awe of them. Do whatever it takes to big yourself up. Remind yourself of those successes. You can also use psychological tricks to stop yourself from feeling nervous, like close your eyes for a few seconds and imagine you're the most qualified, successful person in the room. Now that's not a pass to start acting arrogant. Like we said, that's not something you want to end up doing. It's a strategy to remind yourself that you're important and you count as well. Number 15. Keep on faking it till you make it. Once you've found the track that feels right for you, where one success builds on another, stay on it and build yourself up bit by bit. At some point, you'll get to the stage where the successes outnumber the failures. The things you did right outnumber your mistakes. And once you hit the point where you don't have to keep talking yourself up because it comes naturally, once that happens, you're not faking it anymore. You've made it. So, what do you think is the best way to fake it till you make it, Aluxers? We always value your comments. Now, since you stuck with us until the end, we do have a bonus for you, of course. Once you've gotten to where you want to be, learn how to deal with imposter syndrome. If you've never heard of it before, imposter syndrome is when successful people start having nagging questions in their heads, like, how did I get here? Am I really worthy? It's actually pretty common. People like Albert Einstein to Tom Hanks have had it. In fact, by some counts, 70% of very successful people get it. So once you've made it, there's a pretty good chance you'll get it too. First, 
accept it and try not to make a big deal out of it. Remember that lots of other successful people have had it too, so you're in good company. Then you can go back to reminding yourself of your successes, not to beat yourself up about the mistakes, yada yada, whatever things we mentioned in this video already that will help. And then admit that no matter how successful we get, we've still got to fake it some of the time. But hey, maybe that's not such a terrible thing. We hope you enjoyed this video, Aluxers. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for more quality content every day.